They started there at the 10th. A little trouble from the trees here. Yeah, loose tee shot off the very first hole of the day and a really good, good break to jump over the bunker, but still, uh, you know, it was a good shot out of the trees and the shot was pretty good also. Short game has been impeccable throughout this uh, latest comeback, even better than most people would have anticipated. There is no doubt about it. He has been uh, uh, coming close to holing almost every pitch he hits, it seems like. And like the Tiger of old, he is uh, starting to tag the par fives, although just a par there at 11 earlier this morning. Cool start to the day. Players with the uh, outer layers and hats on. Beautiful strike here into the short par 412. Not just the par fives, these short irons are dialed in. He has stuffed quite a few of them this week. Uh, just, just to prove my point, let's show this one. 13 playing 187 today. Now he liked it, staring straight into the sun and had a feel for that one all over it. Uh, that was a little seven iron for Tiger Woods and this was just a little six footer for a second birdie in a row. Get to three under, send a jolt of electricity through the crowd. He was one off the lead at that point. And then at 14, the par five. Well, it shows he just really had looks at birdie almost every hole on his first nine. And, and that was just a product of the grain being laying into him when it slows down. It, it kind of peeled off the hole, but still that was a solid putt. And quality looks too inside 20 feet time and again all morning long. Another chance just off the putting surface here at 15. And this one shocked me. See how shiny it is, the grass is, the grain is going to his right. And at that pace, the grain should have grabbed it, taken it to the right, just didn't work out. 28 footer here at the par five first to start his second nine of the day. And they're all, it, it's almost like that old Tiger Woods. Even when he didn't make the putt, it looked like it was going in the whole way. And uh, a lot of really good putts. Just dead weight there. Then at the second, finally cashing in to get to four under, seizing the lead. Just a perfect putt after laying well back. He was just picking the golf course apart at this point. Bunkered here and uh, close to the lip there at four. That was some really nice work. And embedded on the upslope, had some green to work with, made a difficult shot look routine. Driver in hand here at uh, five. Yesterday hit about half his fairways, which was the field average in the opening round, Robert, and a little bit better today. Not that one, though. Well, look at that, though. I mean, <laughs> when you're good, you get the breaks, too, don't you? He is good. Flat lie in the bunker here at the par five fifth. Oh, this is gorgeous. See him kind of just take the legs out from under that one, land it in the rough, trickle it out. That shot was not as easy as it looked. And there you go. There's the first birdie on a par five for the day. One clear of the pack at five under. And then this one at uh, seven. That was strong. There you that are. was strong after a loose chip, loose second shot and a loose chip. Wild shot here from the intermediate cut at nine to close out the afternoon. Just a strange miss, short siding himself right in her handbag. Took a drop. This was the third. Sounded a little clunky, but uh, an assist from the flag stick to take a little steam out of it. And then uh, for the watch first his, time today. Yeah, watch his backside here. He moves a little bit. See a little bit of movement, a little more body movement than he normally puts in it. But uh, again, understandable. But the only blemish on the scorecard. We'll take a look at it. Uptick in fairways and greens hit from day one. One putt more. Had the last one fallen at nine, it would have matched yesterday's total of 25. But. Everything pointing up through two days of work. Everything pointing uh, way up and, and just many times he's making this golf course that is so difficult look easy. 